एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड फ्रॉम डिसीजंस पॉइंट कॉफी टेबल वेयर नंबर्स एंड कोड्स आर जेंडरलेस एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू डेवलप एन इन्फ्लुएंशियल करियर इन डेटा साइंस विद कृति हाय कृति एंड वेलकम टू द पॉडकास्ट हे आशीष थैंक्स फॉर हैविंग मी सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद द पॉडकास्ट एज आई नो यू पर्सनली सो आई एम अवेयर ऑफ ऑल द फैंटास्टिक वर्क यू हैव बीन डूइंग इन योर फील्ड So why don't you share that with our audience and what are you doing apart from your regular work So I am a part of a couple of uh, data science communities and I've been doing speaker sessions for them that includes formats like videos podcasts and a couple of in person talks now that we are back to in office setups along with that I also do competitive data science whenever I have some time and a lot of uh, career and mentoring sessions these days so other than uh, the current work that i'm doing right now i'm also doing some content research for whatever next paper or topic or talk that i do and the topic for this one is cognitive biases in human centered spaces so for now we have picked up uh, dating apps as a platform and the research is around how you as humans interact with an app and in turn the app's behavior changes to reflect whatever you think i'll give you a good example for this one so uh, if you know these algorithms are mostly based on images and if you like a particular image the algorithm learns to show you more of that image so for if you swipe a lot on dog pictures or cat pictures over time the algorithm will optimize itself to showcase more dog and cat pictures to you now what happens if the algorithm runs out of dog and cat pictures it will start to look out for humans that have dog like features or cat like features in their faces and start serving those pictures to you so that's one research that i'm doing right now which is around how human behavior impacts tech and vice versa oh nice so uh, looking at all the things you have been doing and planning to do in the future it feels like your day as a data science professional is very very hectic so would you like to make us go through all your daily patterns so my day generally starts with my dog waking me up followed by some coffee and then we talk serious business so since i work 1 pm to 10 pm shift and uh, that's important because having a flexible work schedule is very important if you want to do things outside of work i have uh, some time before i jump into the madness of a typical work day that i like to devote to research once we switch our work mode on it's mostly about focusing on the question for that day so we start with a why and then we talk about the how rather than the other way around so it's like treasure hunt in that sense as in uh, you have a map and you need to figure out where the treasure is so that's what our daily pattern is like so uh, after this day when you want to become a successful data science professional in this field so i feel a lot of skill courses are available in the market to go through but apart from those required skills what skills do you think are an add on in becoming this influential in this field okay so as you rightly pointed out you have a lot of courses in the market for this particular field so there is a lot of information overload that is happening So the first skill is to learning how to learn figuring out what works for you how do you learn best once you figure that out it's a breeze and the second thing is constantly updating yourself because this is still a field that's evolving so keeping yourself up to date with whatever is happening in the market is the need of the art in this particular profession second thing is uh, to become influential as you mentioned you need to be present out there uh, visible to the public talk about the work you're doing let other people talk about the work that they have been doing to you that's how you keep abreast with whatever is happening in the field so as you are an influential data science professional yourself would you like to give some advice to upcoming data science people who who are looking forward to make big career here Okay uh, first thing is uh, pick a niche where do you want to excel at do you want to excel in data engineering do you want to excel in data visualization are you a good coder do you want to excel in the modeling part second thing is figuring out what industry or vertical you are passionate about so i'll give an example for this one if you are passionate about netflix series if you are passionate about consuming media probably an entertainment company or that domain would be a great choice for you because you're not going to get bored plus you'll already have the domain knowledge required to start with that field and the third point is as i mentioned in the previous question as well uh, keep updating yourself keep reading and keep knowing about new things that are there in the field at the moment 
Okay, so uh, this brings us to the next segment of our podcast that are the bite-sized questions. Mm. So I'd like to ask you the three essential non-technical skills to become a successful data science professional. Non-technical would be critical thinking first. Second is ability to ask the right questions at the right time, and the third is communication. Uh, what are the best sources for you to gain knowledge or study from? So uh, for me personally, I like reading white papers that mostly a lot of these vendors publish. So McKinsey publishes some, uh, Nielsen publishes some, and HBR as well. So these kind of publications. Other than that, I also follow academic papers a lot, and uh, mostly that. Sometimes videos and courses also help, but uh, that's the third kind of format that I prefer. Okay, so as you mentioned books, so what will be the three books that you advise that everyone should read? Okay, uh, I'll start with the technical one for anybody who's becoming a data science professional or wishes to enter the field. This is one book you should not miss out on. It's called Introduction to Statistical Learning, ISLR, as it is abbreviated. Second book uh, would be any good content about systems thinking, thinking in systems. And uh, the third thing would be McKinsey Mind, the McKinsey Mind. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, Kriti. This was a very informative podcast for me. I hope our audience also learned a lot from it. Okay, thanks, Ashish. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>